loves, it's Belinda and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a makeup tutorial to share with you guys and I'm also going to be revealing the mascara that Sephora and that Pop Sugar sent to me. And are you guys ready to find out? I am super excited because it is a Benefit Cosmetics. It is called the Roller Lash Mascara and I have grown to really, really love this mascara and I'm so glad that they didn't tell me what brand it was before. If you guys want to check out that video, it's a full review on the mascara itself and I'll have a link down below where you guys can find that. It hasn't launched yet, but be one of the first ones to get your hands on this mascara. I have a link down below where you guys can go ahead and click to be able to find out when you guys can have it. And I am just super excited about it. I love the packaging. I think it's really pretty, especially like the pink that's up here. And I like how you can grasp it as I'm rolling it onto my eye. So I am going to dig into my makeup collection in my Benefit Cosmetics drawer. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that I went to San Francisco a few months ago and I was able to tour the headquarters of Benefit Cosmetics. It was the most amazing trip ever. It was so amazing and I brought back with me a bunch of goodies and I also got some goodies that um, Pop Sugar sent me to be able to come up with this gorgeous makeup tutorial for you guys. And I love this look because you can wear it on a daily basis and it's something that makes you look really well put together but it's not too much. So let's get started with the tutorial. So like always you want to begin with a clean face and I'm going to start with my puff off which is a moisturizer that helps reduce fine lines and dark circles underneath your eye. The applicator tip is actually a little iron which I think it's super cute. I just love Benefit Cosmetics packaging. And I'm going to prep and prime my face with the professional and just apply that all over my face before applying my foundation. And as you guys can see, I am down to the very last drop of this foundation. I absolutely love it because it matches my skin tone and it doesn't feel heavy on my skin. It's very light so I feel like I don't even have any foundation on, which is great because I feel like it, some foundations could be too thick. And then I just grab a wet sponge and apply that all over my face and to cover up those dark circles I'm going to use this Boing concealer and not only does it hide my circles but it also brightens up underneath my eye which is something that I really love. And after we are done with that, I'm going to use a powder foundation to make sure that I set it in and it lasts all day long. So I like to apply it mostly underneath my eyes where it tends to crease if I get too oily during the day and this will make sure that it doesn't. And now we're going to prime our eyes for eyeshadow and I'm going to be using the Stay Don't Stray Eyeshadow Primer. This cute little palette that Benefit Cosmetic has actually has a primer included in there and it also has three beautiful colors which I'm going to use all of them starting with the lightest shade which I'm going to put in the inner corner of my eye and all over my eyelid and then I'm going to grab the second shade and I'm going to apply that to the crease of my eye and slowly blend it up. That's going to be our transition color into the darker shade. Next, using a very dense and pencil brush, I'm going to apply the darkest shade on my eye in the outer corner of my eye and I'm going to do this very slowly and build up the color as we go along. You don't want to apply too much at one time because then you're just going to have raccoon eyes and you're going to have fallout all over the place. So you want to be very careful with it and blend it out. I'm going to take that same dark color and I'm going to apply that on my lash line and smoke it out just a tiny bit to bring more attention to the eyes. And now it's time to apply the Roller Lash Mascara. I've been using this on a daily basis ever since I got it. And I noticed that ever since I started using it, especially because of the wand, I noticed that my curls stay intact. The little bristles are made out of rubber, which I like because it hooks onto my eyelashes, which allows them to curl. And the formula allows it to stay curled throughout the day, which is amazing. So I don't have to worry about curling them throughout the day. And they stay curled for a really long time. I'm going to reach for the They're Real Push Up Liner and I'm just going to click on the bottom to push up the eyeliner and it's almost like a gel form but it's really easy to apply. I'm going to stamp it onto my eye as close to the lash line as possible and it's going to give me a very thin but thick and matte eyeliner which is something that I love and then towards the end of the eye I'm going to wing it out just a little bit and it 
I feel like I have a lot of control with this eyeliner, that's why it's one of my favorites. Next, I'm going to apply the Hoola bronzer, and I'm going to add this to the cheek, well, underneath the cheek bones, and also on the temples to make my face look a little bit warm and make it look more chiseled other than just bronzed. Since we do have a little bit of a smoky eye going on, I don't want to add too much color to the cheeks because I already have eyeshadow on. So this is one that I like to reach for when it comes to making it look very natural because it has these little shimmers on it. And it really complements the eyeshadow that you have on instead of standing out more than the eyeshadow that you have on that you have too much color on your face. So you don't want that. Now it's time to finish off the lip and what, like I said before, we don't want to distract the eyeshadow that we have going on. So I'm going to go for a really soft, pretty pinky color. I think this looks really natural. It almost looks like a lip gloss, but it's comfortable that you can wear all day long and it's, your hair's not going to stick to your lips. I want to add a little bit of a highlight to make our face look dewy and fresh. So I'm going to add the high beam on there and it's just a little bit of a cream form so you want to apply it with your fingers. I think it looks nicest when you apply it with your fingers and then rub it into the cheekbones and also down the bridge of your nose and also on your cupid's bow or cupid's, cupid's bow is that, is that what it's supposed to be called? <laughs> and we're all done with our makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned some new makeup tips so I will have a link down below where you guys can find out when this mascara is going to be out I absolutely love it and I'm so excited that I got a second one because I almost ran out of the sample size that we got so yes that is all for today and I will talk to you guys in my next video which is this